would you like to tell them what that is? Ah, uh, yeah, I have to. Um, I will leave the club at the end of the season. I can understand that it's uh, a shock for a lot of people in this moment when you hear it the first time, and um, but obviously I can explain it, or at least try to explain it, um, and I, I love absolutely everything about this club, I love everything about the city, I love everything about our supporters, I love the team, love the staff, love everything. That I still take this decision probably will or shows you that I'm convinced it's the one I have to take. Um, it is that I'm, what how can I say, that I'm running out of energy. Um, I have no problem now, obviously, I think I, I, I know it already for, for longer, uh, that I will have to announce that at one point. But um, I'm absolutely fine now, but I um, know that I cannot do the job again and again and again and again. And after all the years we had together and after all the time we spent together and after all the things we went through together, um, the respect grew for you, the love grew for you, and the least thing I owe you is the truth. And that's the truth. You've obviously offered a lot of detail in that first answer, but I'm sure you appreciate how big this news is for our supporters, so we'll drill down into some of the, the topics and the reasons behind your decision. I think the first thing fans will want to know is, is, is something happened, are, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm healthy, so as much as you can in my age. Uh, little bips and bobs, stuff like that, but um, nothing anybody has to be concerned about. So that's absolutely fine. It's um, I told the club already in November. It is that I, um, oh, I have to explain a little bit that, 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 that maybe the job I, I, I do, it's people see from the outside, um, I'm on the touchline, uh, training session, stuff like this, but obviously the majority of all the things happen around these kind of things. Um, that means a season starts and you plan pretty much the next season already. And um, when we sat there together talking about potential signings and the next summer camp and can we go wherever, I just realized I'm not. I, 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 the, the thought came up, I'm not sure I'm then here anymore. And I was surprised by myself about that. And then I, I started obviously thinking about it. And um, it was all, it started, not it didn't start, but of course last season it was kind of a super difficult season. And there were moments when I, in other clubs probably um, the decision would have been, yeah, come on, thank you very much for everything, but um, probably we should split here or finish it and end it here. Um, that didn't happen here, obviously. And for me, it was super, super, super important that I can help to bring this team back on the rails. It was all I was thinking about. And when I realized pretty early, okay, that happened. That's a really good team with massive potential, super age group super characters, all that. And I could start thinking about myself again and that, what, that was the outcome. And uh, it's not what I want to, um, it's just what I think is 100% right. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's it. Is there a reason you're making this decision now, particularly given the stage of the season we're at? Oh, in the idle world, of course. I, <laughs> In the idle world, we've, I wouldn't have said anything to nobody and um, until the end of the season, win everything and then say, oh, goodbye. Um, it's not possible. It's not possible in the world we are living in. It's not possible to keep things like this um, secret. It's maybe a surprise that it was, that we could keep it until now. Um, but uh, there are so many things um, 
which are influenced by it, and, and, and especially personal situations. So people from my staff need to know um, early, and especially the club needs to know early and needs to plan. And you cannot plan anything, you cannot really start. You can do a lot of stuff with knowing it, but not um, making it public, but decisive things, a lot of things you cannot do. Um, and that means the club needs time over, over, over the years. I, my role, obviously, was a pretty dominant one. It was not intentionally, uh, but it happened. And a lot of moments when I, when I wish that I don't have to do that again, it's the third time that I have to do something like that, and I, I really don't want that. Um, but in the end, um, I have to, because one thing is one thing I'm really convinced of, if you have to make a decision like that, it's better you do it slightly early than slightly too late. Because too late would have been absolute the worst thing happened in a, I don't know, next season, September, I realized, oh my God, I'm, that's it, I cannot, I cannot do it anymore. Um, and then we are in the middle of a season, everything. So this club, everything we, we, we built in the, in the last years um, is a wonderful platform, a wonderful basis for the future. And the, the only thing that could disturb that now is pretty much that you don't, that you cannot make the right decisions because you are running out of time. And that was, was very important to me that I really inform everybody as early as somehow possible. You said disturbance there. Are you at all concerned this news could have a negative impact on the remainder of the season? I understand the question 100%. That's up to us, I would say. Um, I had a similar situation at Dortmund. It's, the circumstances are completely different, but it's a similar situation. You cannot deny that. Um, it's up to us. So, we, after this announcement, we will make to have probably a press conference or stuff like that. After that, I'm 100% in the season. We can go through. I think we have in the world we have kind of 30 games coming up or something like that. That's in other countries a full season. So there are so many things out to play for, and there might might be some. Um, ideas from the outside to disturb what we are doing and but it's it's all about us we the way we grew together in the last few years um, is is absolutely exceptional absolutely exceptional and I always said it and especially now it's still true nothing has to happen because of me so nobody has to make the games now about me please don't if I can ask for that it would be really nice um, and we just support each other and I'm fully here I don't think anybody realized any difference uh, in the last few months. If there may be a positive change, <laughs> um, because I have to say, when I made the decision, as hard as it is, this was a relief as well. It was like, okay, I, um, I, I, there will be as a finishing line, and not for not being here anymore. If I could stay here and, and uh, in a role, I would be over the moon. I just can't, and that's that's it. I really want to. Um, perform on the highest level, and um, we get only disturbed if we let it happen as a, as, as, as a club. And um, I really hope that it will not happen with the team. I'm, I'm sure um, that, they, that they will be fine um, with the crowd. I'm sure it will be fine, but um, the world out there is bigger, and the social media world, and all these kind of things. Um, but I think it's worth that we really do what we always did. We live in a moment, we, f we, we push each other as much as we can and we go for absolutely everything and the rest is next season. That, that there's no difference re really for that season, to be 100% honest. Everything what, what happened in the last few years, it was always my name, but it, it, obviously plenty of people are working on everything and they're still working on that and still doing that. Um, it will be, um, the, my role will change, a lot of other things will stay the same. and. Um, so the club is in good hands and, and, and the future is bright and even brighter when I don't have to do it anymore with not exactly the same energy level as before. My, if you look at my, my career, this career is actually not possible, I would say. Because where I'm coming from, ending up as the manager of Liverpool FC is, is, a, is, a, is a fairy tale and a very difficult thing to, to plan, I would say impossible to plan and difficult to reach. But it's only possible if you are very busy and 100,000% committed to everything you do uh, when you dedicate your whole life to it. Um, that's what I did. And I came here 
as a and I said it on the first day as a as a normal as a normal guy. I am still a normal guy. I just don't live a normal life for too long now, and I don't want to wait until I'm too old for having a normal life. Um, and I, I need at least to give it a try at one point to see how it is. Will I miss it? Um, well, how I said, I never had this really before, so I, I need to give it a try. And it's the right moment for me, and I think it's the right moment as well for the club, because I can't do the job next year, from next year on anymore, as I did it before, and then I'm not the right one anymore. What was the reaction of the club's ownership when you informed them? Yeah, they didn't smash a party. So we we had obviously a really a, we we developed a, a really good relationship over the years. Um, and but I explained it, and um, they know my they know me now for so long that they know I don't say these kind of things and leave a little bit of door open. Come on, try to convince me um, these kind of things. Um, I said we know each other for so long and that good that that was clear and they accepted they just accepted it and well, nobody was really happy um, the few people I told it so far I had to tell it, tell it uh, were not really happy I'm not happy with it I just know it's right I think for, what what are the what are the what are the alternative scenarios what are they yeah usually you get as a manager you get a sack so then you have a bad spell before five six seven weeks and everybody is relieved when you uh, um, part ways. Uh, the the other the other thing is you get you get I'm not sure what's the other one. You are you you get ill and you have to stop. Um, and unfortunately or, or fortunately I, I I have to do it like that. I don't know. I don't like that we have to make that fuss of my of myself. Um, I don't consider myself as that important. But I know that the outside world sees that's slightly different. And that's why we do that. Doing a press conference, doing an official announcement, is is a rare thing to do. Uh, in that situation, we just want to make sure that everybody who is with us gets informed in the best possible way. But after this, I'm completely in the Norwich game. I'm completely in the Chelsea game, in the Arsenal game, whatever game coming up. I'm completely in that. There's no need for any farewell parties now. With there's a long season to go. I I want to be 100%. Um, in it, and I am. I am. Nobody has to worry about my mindset. I just hope that I really. It would be really cool if you just could accept my decision as a difficult one, but the right one. That's that's it. Because as much as I love everything, and still think it's the right one, that could show you it is probably the right one.